hello guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to install the latest windows 11 version on your pc so this method would work on uh, supported uh, pc and pc that's unsupported so even though your pc cannot run windows 11 this method will work and we're going to be installing the latest version of windows 11 which is 24h2 so the first thing we're going to be doing is downloading the iso so you're going to be pulling up your browser and then on your browser just type in windows 11 iso download so after doing this just click on the first link that opens up and you'll be taken to this microsoft page and you can see over here the latest windows version is 24h2 so after doing that just scroll to the bottom of the page and then on that download windows 11 dxix so click on windows 11 multi edition then click on confirm so after validating you'll be asked to select your product language so you need to choose the same product language you have when you installed windows before and if you don't know that to get this you're going to be going to your command prompt so click on the windows button over here and then search for cmd so after you search for cmd right click and run as administrator so after running that after it opens up just search for dism space forward slash online space forward slash get dash intl then click on enter so after you've done that you can see that the default system ui language for my pc is english united states so i'll close this and select english united states then click on confirm So after validating, you can see we have 64 bits download. So I'm just going to be clicking on 64 bits download to download the Windows ISO. So after doing that, the download should start. And as you can see over here, it's about 5.4 gigs. So depending on your internet speed, it can take a couple of minutes to download. After downloading, you can see this is the text image for Windows 11. So now you can either right click to extract this on your PC or you can mount this. So depending on whichever route you want to take, so it's still going to get the same result. So I'm not going to be extracting this. I'm just going to be mounting this, mounting this like a text. So I click on mount and then it should open up this window. So after doing that, you can go ahead and copy the files you see here so after doing that you can go ahead and select the files and then click on copy to copy the files and then go to your local disk so mine is c drive and then right click and create a new folder so you can name this folder anything you want so i'm going to be naming this windows and make sure there's no space between so i'm going to be naming this win 11 without a space so then go into that and paste the files you copied okay so now the files has been copied to the folder i created so now i'm going to go into cmd again right click run as administrator then i'll go back to the folder i created and then copy the password paste it's here and then type forward slash setup.exe space backslash product space server so after you've done that it should open the windows server installation page over here so we are not installing the windows server okay so just come over here and click on change our setup downloads update so click on it and then click on not right now and click on next so after that click on accept then at this point you can choose if you want to keep your files your application if you want to keep only files or you don't want to keep anything so i want to keep everything the way it is so i'm going to click on next So 
So then I will click on install. So after this, it's going to install the Windows 11. So depending on the specs on your PC, this should take like maybe five to 15 minutes. Like I said, depending on the specs on your PC. So we're just gonna allow this install. So after a couple of minutes, my Windows 11 has been installed. And as you can see on the desktop over here, nothing has been changed. My files are still on my PC. So now I can go back to that Windows 11 folder I created and then delete it because I do not actually need it. That way I can free up some space. So if you have enough space, you can leave it if you want, but I'm going to delete this. And then you can see over here we have a folder called windows.old. So this folder would automatically be deleted later in the future, I think after 10 days, depending on, I think after 10 days too. But if you want to delete it manually, you can. So the folder is for maybe if you want to roll back your update, you want to go back to Windows 10. So you can just go to your settings and click on system, then under recovery, you can see go back so if you click on go back uh, it will bring up this page for you well you can roll back your update so just click on next then click on no thanks then then click on next so just follow the prompt and then that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video see you in the next one bye